All right, this was on me. I did a, a total mistake there. Well, what I was actually at actively attempting to go through was actually the exit to the boss area. What we actually want to do is go this way, which I completely somehow missed, and uh, go through this weird little puzzly sort of thing going on over here. So uh, yeah, my bad, but we're on track now, so all is well. We have to use our newfound super speedy dashy ability in order to, I guess, to hit that block that's way the hell over there. Not entirely sure why, but there you go. Push that block, push that block, hit that switch, hit that switch. There we go. That'll open up them, uh, it'll raise up some rocks for, for us for some reason, and there'll be even more for us to do. This is the path we want to go. I was totally mistaken. And another one of these jerks. And Mario has leveled up. Isn't that awesome? Also, I did some off-screen fighting. Mario and Luigi have leveled up a little bit, and Mario's power is now over 100. Which is pretty freaking awesome, I've got to say. Okay, so hopefully we won't have to fight anymore. It's tempting to fight those guys. It's honestly very tempting. I'm gonna do it. Sorry about that, but these guys offer oodles of freaking experience points. I would have been a fool to not take full advantage of it. Anyway, now we have to deal with this nonsensical nonsense. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we gotta jump up here first. Very good, very good, very good. Get the Mario runny, spill, runny ability up. Hit that switch. We're gonna need to run way the hell over there. We can do this. We got this. Come on, Mario. Light my butt on fire. Huzzah! Seriously, who would've... Th I mean, Luigi's gotta be suffering from some serious third-degree burns at this point. That just seems a little absurd. Anyway, time for the spin jump. There we go. Get that move prepared up again. Hit that switch. And there's another one way over there. Okay. Seriously, I wonder what third degree burns on the buttock would be like. I imagine horrible because he'd never be able to sit down ever again. Okay, and hit that switch. And that should be everything we need to do. Is that gonna activate the thing? Yes, it is. I no longer have to concern myself. Fantastic. Although, I did see a bean on our hasty jog over here, so... Smack Luigi down, grab that bean, and let us move on. Alright. We're one step closer to getting that one fraction of a piece of the bean star. This has been quite an ordeal, if I say so myself. Of course I do, because I'm talking to myself. I mean, I guess I'm talking to you guys, but I don't know. It's it's weird. Let's playing is kind of weird that way. You're kind of talking to yourself, but eventually you won't be. I don't really understand it. I try not to think about it too hard either way. With the path to Hermie is now open, let us go and meet this fool who has taken the bean star piece and apparently looks like a Christmas tree. That's a little weird. Okay. You'll notice that everyone, all of the enemies that once plagued us are now gone. That was because I murdered them. Alright, now before we go into battle, we shall heal up and get ourselves some syrups and the like. There we go. We should be all well and good because this boss can catch you off guard if you don't know what you're doing. Alright. Bring it on! It's Nipper! How's that feel, Hermie? Like the look of it? Oh, I get a good feel from that. Yes, I do. Hey, you, Nipper, what's the deal, yo? Eh? Who are you? Have you come to help me decorate too? Why? Red clothes and a mustache, even. That meaneth. Could you be. Santa Claus? Yet! Mario is no Santa Claus, although that would be completely awesome. Hermie, what is it? Oh, hey, it's those bloated jerks from earlier. Didn't I see you in the masseuse parlor? Oh, wow. On closer inspection, I see you have red clothes and a shiny mustache. Could you be... Jumpa Jumpa? A spastic jumping fellow! Wow, that jump, pal! That's true, it's true! You're the Mario of the Mushroom Kingdom! Stupendular! Mario of the Mushroom Kingdom is here, Pat! Uh, party on! This is no time to be decorating! And then they harass poor Mario. Whoa, it's true, it's true! Can I touch your mustache? No, don't touch me! Don't touch me! That jump, it's glorious, grandular. I cannot wait to brag to everyone I know. This rules. Oh, poor Mario. And poor Luigi. Ah, poor Luigi. Ah, uh, my decoration. Eh? Oh, you must be the president of the Mario fan club? No. Although Luigi is a fan. No, wait just a second. Green clothes, mustache. He gads. Hey, any chance that you're the famous brother who always gets left behind? Luigi? Indeed I am. And now Luigi gets harassed. Wow, are we lucky or what? How old are you? 26. What's your sign? Aries. And your hat size? 12. Okay, your waist? I think 13. Favorite snack? Goldfish crackers. 
Ah, get this up, 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 up. Piss this decoration stuff, and it's all because of you. If you want a customable, then you're stupid. And now we're fighting a giant hermit crab because reasons. Okay, what you're gonna want to do is take out this guy's claws because those claws are really pointy and sharp, and you don't want to mess with them. As soon as you get rid of his claws, everything will work out for the best. See, look, he's, he's aiming that claw. Jump on that claw. You gotta be careful. Those claws are crazy. Eventually, if you hurt him enough, he'll just start keep snapping, snapping, snapping until you just get all tripped up and everything's off it. Awful. Ah, this is how frustrating. It's time to save things up. All right, and I guess he can bolster himself. That's all well and good. Now, bounce bros on the right claw. Like freaking so. Only 10 points of damage. Not what I was looking for. Okay, um, break that claw. Is it broken? No, it's not broken. I need to break his claws. Also, he has Pepto Bismol bubbles. Gross. If they hit you, they poison you, so don't let them hit you. See, how about we try this attack? This should do better. Well, it did do better. Okay, I suppose I can't complain, even if I did mess up. Okay, is your claw broken? Yes, it is. Finally. Okay, bring on the Pepto. I care none for them. I don't have indigestion. Let's see. Let's try knock rock rose one more time. Bada bing. Bada boom. Slamo. There we go. That should take care of that claw. Now he won't be able to snap at us anymore. We use the super splash bros attack. It's a fail safe. It's, it never fails to be amazing. Let's see. What are you going to do? Oh, you're going to hide inside your shell like a stupid jerk. Very well. Mario knows just the way to defeat something such as this. If he stays in there for too long, he starts healing. We don't want that to happen. So what you gotta do is draw him out by setting fire to his decorations. It's like, what are you doing to my pretty decorations? No more stupids! Ah, and I see your claws have randomly decided to heal. That's a little weird, but okay. Sometimes I'll try to fake you out and use his other claw. Oh, but we are prepared for such nonsense. Now I'm not even gonna bother with those stupid claws. I'm just gonna go straight for your head. Take this, fiend! That I'm using that word again. I hate myself when I do that. Okay, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna use your stupid claws? Yeah, I bet you are. Come on, keep trying to use your stupid claws. Do it. I dare you. I double dog, triple monkey, dia, stink dang, digga dang, dare you to. That's right, you're not going to, because you're a pansy. You're the long lost brother of Nipper. Because you are both equally ugly and hermit crabs at the same time. What are you gonna do? You gonna use your stupid claws again? Huh? Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. You got nothing. You've got nothing on the Mario Brothers. The Mario Brothers know more moves than you. They've, they've fought more enemies than you have been alive for years, okay? Like, oh, how old are you? Like, 47? They've killed far more people than that, okay? 47-year-old, it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing, okay? Hand. Use a use thing. Just burn his decorations, get him out of there. We don't want him healing himself up. Pop out of there, you stupid jerk. What are you doing to my- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't keep yelling at me about your stupid decorations. I care none for Christmas! Eh, that's actually a lie. I love Christmas. Who hates Christmas? Evil people. Messed up people. Stupid people. Yeah, and I don't, I'm not talking about the religious aspect. I'm talking about the whole, you know, giving and getting, you know, family bonding sort of Christmas. That's the sort of thing I enjoy. i take that. Eh, ah, oh, well, you've gotten rid of one of your claws. Strictly through counterattacks, it seems. Very well. No, I would like to not, I would like to not do any of that. I would like to do this, please. Thank you. Spinny, spinny, spin. And plop down. You done? Now, this guy's still going. He's got, he's got himself a lot of the HPs. Admirable, I suppose. Okay, you gonna bring out the Pepto? No, he's not gonna bring out the Pepto. He's far too busy using his claws to fight. Hmm? Hmm, what you gonna do? Just keeps on going. Very admirable. But, tenacity will only prolong the inevitable, my friend. Just like that. You're done. You're out. Cover him in butter. Okay, and Mario levels up for level 28. We are just powerhouse. We are beasting our way through this thing. Look at that attack stat. It's through the dang roof. All right, that takes care of that. That's all well and good. Luigi also levels up. Sweet. Ain't gonna complain about that. More HPs for the Luigi. He's at 90 now. That's so awesome. Okay. Only one. Eh, 90 HPs. If we get that to 100, everything's gonna be super awesome. Abbeth Hacketh. Please excuse Hermie. He's a little kooky. Indeed. He's also kind of a jerk. Oh, I'm sorry, fellas. I guess we were in the wrong. Anywho, I'm sure you two must have had some reason for coming here. Yeah, give us the dang bean star piece, please. A googie potato and all that. Huh? The bean thing on the shell? Well, whoop do you do? What's so important about that thing? It's kind of like a great evil... No, it's not great evil, but it has a whole lot of power and a super villain trying to get it. Just give us the stinking piece, okay? If that's so, then I suppose I have no choice. Why do you speak with a lisp? Why, does all, why do all hermit crabs in games have lisps? This makes no sense. Anyway, we got a chunk of the bean star. That's good. You got a bean star piece. Only three more to go. Two incredibly easy. One slightly annoying, but it will get through it. And after decorating things so well, too. 
But we tried so hard. Anyway, whatever. What? You're leaving already? Yeah, we kind of got stuff to do, lady. I don't see why you can't stay and relax, personally. Superstars are busy people, I'm sure. And you are correct in that assumption. See? If you're going back, this way should be a shortcut. Thank you for that knowledge, random lady. Let's see. Where are we going? Aha! There we go! Another one of these boo switch thingamabobbers. Just electrocute Mario in the back. Flip the switch. Activate a thingamabobber, and we are good. Alright, now let's see. What should we do next? We got, we got the biggest and most annoying Bean Star piece out of the way. Everything else is significantly more tame and less annoying than what we just went through. Let's see, maybe we can just go this way. Is this the way out? Yes, this is the way out. Fantabulific. Now, Luigi, just grab that bean. Almost called you Mario. Sorry about that. And let's see. Okay, where are we going to go? Let's head to the castle area of the south. Let's get the second most annoying Bean Star piece out of the way next. Then we can get the two easy ones. That sounds like a pretty sound strategy on my part. Let's do that thing. I don't want to fight you. Jerks had no clue what they were. What, what they had coming. Blech. Tongue tied. Seriously though, I am so far out of these guys' league. It's honestly kind of depressing that they keep trying to fight me. I had, I defeat them in one attack. Even I I don't even have to get the action commands correctly. That's how much damage I do. Let's see. Maybe I need to go this way. Maybe. I don't know. Well, there's, there's got to be something over here. So it's time for Luigi to save the world. Okay, let's open that thing up. I mean, it wouldn't be if it was behind a gate. It's obviously got to be something important. So let's go investigate. Maybe this is where I want to go. I don't know. Or maybe it's just another pipe. Okay. Well, that's all well and good, I guess. Uh, ultimately pointless, but all well and good, I suppose. Okay, let's bounce. Let's see. No, no, no more bouncing, Luigi. We have, we've got no time for your tiggerish antics. Let's see. And some sort of Goomba Tanuki. We shall do battle. Take this, fiend. You fiend again. Stop saying fiend. Yeesh. Ugh. Thesaurus. I need one. Okay. Just stop on these stupid, stupid Tanuki. Oh, you're going to turn into Luigi, are you? Eh, 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 uh -uh. Oh. Okay, so apparently that was a sound strategy. You're a jerk and I hate you. Die. Okay. That takes care of that jerk. But now what? Now what? Now what? Ah, there we go. I figured out exactly what we need to do. We need to set Mario, uh, Luigi's butt on fire again. Okay, apparently we ran diagonally. That's not the direction of the coop. And I didn't charge it up enough that time. There we go. Okay. Now get out of my way, you tubby tubby tub tub tub. Okay, now we'll just get rid of that. And here we are. This is exactly where we want to go. The Yoshi Theater. He has the bean bean piece, of course he does. And I guess he's probably going to want us to do something stupid in order to get it. Also, that guy looks a little bit offensive. I'm not... I mean, this is, a, this is a, you know, a Japanese-made game, so I suppose it's not that offensive because they were doing it, but I don't want to dwell on this topic. That guy just looks weird. Hey, what's with you two? You can't just waltz up and start talking to my master. You weasels look at you. There's no doubt in my mind that you've come looking for money. Well, I'll have you know that my master is very busy. He doesn't have time to waste on the likes of you. Be off! Off, I say! A googie potato, give us the star bean piece. The bean star busted into four pieces. Oh, my master, master, you mustn't listen. You can't listen. All of the talk is just meant to swindle you out of your money again. It's all lies. Lies. Okay. Silence, you twit. Well, that was kind of prolonged. And we're freaking out. And with that, please excuse me. What's that? There's something on my face? A googie potato! Eh? You say I look like Bubbles, the legendary soda maker? Yes, yes you do. Aha, that is because... I'm... Bubbles! Younger brother! Not entirely sure why you're your younger brother. Doesn't really affect anything in the plot, but whatever. My name is Bottle, younger brother of the legendary soda maker. As you can see, I'm rich enough to own my own theater. I also happen to be president of the Yoshi fan club. The theater was designed by a Yoshi-loving chap specifically for the enjoyment of the Yoshis. So, uh, what did you want to talk about? We need the bean star piece, or a googie potato, as Mario would say. I see, you just have to have the decoration on this sign? Hmm. 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 Yes, of course. Fine, fine. I suppose I could decorate the sign with something else and give the sparkly thing to you. But... No, no, you mustn't, Master, you mustn't! 
And now we gotta wait another 15 seconds for him to get smacked upside the face with an egg attack. You really think he would just get out of the way? It's not like it's hard to dodge. That guy must be really incompetent. However, only one, one condition. This sign is my theater's face. You must find something else that can be used to decorate my grand sign. Understood? Uh, I suppose I can do that. Why, do you mean neon eggs? Yes, I shall trade you this for the seven brilliant colors of the neon eggs. Impossible, Master. Washed up middle-aged men such as these could never get the neon eggs. The Smash Brothers Melee Mario Trophy in, Jap in Japan strictly says that Mario is 26 years old. He is not middle-aged. And for a third time, because that's so funny the first two times. Floppo, seriously, that guy shouldn't have any teeth. Will the two of you agree to this? When Yoshis eat a particular kind of food, they lay neon eggs. Or so they say. Inside the movie theater, there are seven hungry Yoshis. So find that particular food and give it to the Yoshis inside. Once you get a neon egg, it means the Yoshi's stomach is filled. It also means everyone's happy! Right? I, I guess. Incredible, Master, thinking not only of yourself, but of all the Yoshis too. You two, don't just stand there staring. Think, my master. And once you're done thinking, thanking him, hurry up and get those neon eggs. Now that you mention it, there is someone in this theater who's well-versed on neon eggs. You should talk to this individual about what food makes Yoshi's lay neon eggs and where to find it. Well, I suppose we don't got much of a choice on the matter. How highly, Yoshi, you're adorable. So this is a movie theater. Okay, now here's something awesome. Look at the posters in this movie theater, okay? We've got Kirby... We got Wario, we've got this very game, and you got the Legend of Staffy. No one's ever even played Staffy in their referencing Staffy. That's pretty cool. 